Here we have two um, portable transistor radios. On the left we've got a vintage uh, Hacker RP74 Black Knight, FM only. Uh, and on the right we've got a more, much more modern um, Roberts RD27 FM DAB radio. Um, the purpose of this video is to really demonstrate the difference in power consumption between the old Hacker from 1973 and the, the modern 2010 Roberts radio. Uh, we're running them as you can see from external power supplies from these two row band power supplies. The left hand radio takes 12 volts and the, the Roberts takes 9 volts. What I want to do is show you the difference in power consumption between one of the old fashioned radios. Influenced by on, the social play it on radio 4 to avoid copyright. Um, and, the finish and as you can see here, power consumption is. Around 30 milliamps, let's put it onto a lower range so you can see. Yeah, you know, okay, about just over 20 milliamps according to this meter, which is which is accurate. Um, at this sort of fairly low background level, um, easy to listen to with normal hearing. If we come to the Roberts radio, we'll turn that on. It's come up on FM. You can see here, okay, the backlight's on at the moment, that once that drops off, but the power consumption currently has dropped to 400 milliamps. Now that is a big chunk out of your battery life. Uh, your batteries aren't going to last more than a couple of weeks, I shouldn't think, with sort of regular use. Um, it's a huge power consumption in comparison with 20 milliamps and 400 milliamps. That's a massive in increase in power. That's that's FM. Okay, let's try it on DAB. So we're current consumption is 400 milliamps. Let's turn on DAB, and then the extra processing uh, has pushed it up to where well, it's presently 430. But in all fairness, the backlight's come back on again. Let's just wait for the backlight to come off. Okay, well, what a surprise. Well, actually, power consumption, surprisingly enough, has stayed roughly the same, if not dropped back slightly. So it's possible that the, uh, the DAP processor is actually running all the time. Um, but um, because we're in the middle of a town, a busy town in, called East Grinstead in uh, West Sussex, we've got no uh, reception at all for DAP because it hasn't gone out to the the middle of the suburbs yet um, we're still waiting for a decent service well I'm not I don't think many people are to be honest with you uh, you can do a search for all the other channels but you won't get anything in you can see the aerials is up that's not a problem there and it's nothing wrong with the radio the radio works fine if you uh, take it right next to a transmitter um, switch to FM only or FM and then you can see the radio works absolutely fine so what I'm trying to point out is, even though we're trying to save the planet and cut down our power consumption, this radio uses about 20 times the amount of power that the hacker does. I haven't worked out the, the actual difference in power consumption, but if we, uh, if we know that we're running the, the Roberts on 9 volts at 0.4 of an amp, the Roberts is drawing 3.6 watts. And the volume's not even turned up. So on FM, with the volume turned down, 3.6 watts to do basically nothing. And with the volume up on DAB, it's still 3.6 watts and you still don't get anything. The hacker um, is running a higher voltage, 12 volts times 21 milliamps, so 0.021. The hacker is using a quarter of a watt. So a quarter of a watt between that and 3.6 watts. That's a huge difference. So yeah, that's that's my uh, rant for this evening. I just dab radio. Everyone's pushing it. Radio Tour pushing the adverts all the time of how you can receive dab anywhere you like, but you can't actually receive it above ground unless you're standing right next to a transmitter. There's nothing wrong with FM, it works perfectly well, it doesn't need up upgrading, it gives you a better sound quality, it gives you a better signal strength. Why mess with something there's nothing wrong with it? And also, it will save the planet in the wrong run because it draws so much more power, people won't be changing their batteries and using so much power to, to run these radios. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, two radios, 
one a good one and one a, a modern and already obsolete system.